And a good Wednesday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 61 meteorologist Ryan Breton. A heat advisory is up all the way through tomorrow evening because of the combination of the heat and humidity. At times it will feel like it's up above 100 degrees. And this is an extended heat wave. We're in day two now and we're probably going to make it six by the time it ends. The weekend forecast has trended a little hotter. We may be in the mid 90s for both Saturday and Sunday. So for this afternoon, we are up into the mid 90s in many places, even at the shoreline. Northwest wind will heat us up right to the beaches this afternoon. And with dew points up around 70, that's high humidity. And that's why the heat index will be up around 100 in many spots this afternoon. Tonight we stay dry, but it is a stiflingly warm night, only dropping into the 70s in most spots. That's about it. And comes with high humidity too. For our Thursday, we will have more clouds around, so we'll call it hazy sunshine. And then approaching front will pop up a couple of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. The main timing on these between about 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. They'll be scattered. Not everyone will see them, so it's just kind of the way this summer has gone. Some towns will get hit with heavy rain for a little while and other towns will miss out completely. But we'll have to keep an eye on some of these storms. They could be on the strong side particularly with some gusty winds uh, Thursday afternoon. So we hit a high temperature of 92 in Hartford on Thursday, 90 in Willimantic. Southerly breeze may keep the shoreline in the 80s, but either way, it is with high humidity, so you won't really feel uh, much better even if it doesn't hit 90 at the shore. Severe weather risk, a slight level two out of five risk for most of the state. Uh, the main threat out of any of these storms Thursday afternoon would be damaging wind gusts, but we'll have to watch out for maybe hail and the stronger storms and perhaps an isolated tornado somewhere in New England, but the odds are a little higher for that farther to the north. Once this front goes by, it doesn't get any cooler, but what the front will do is drop the humidity a little bit for Friday. Either way, it is still hot for both Friday and Saturday with temperatures that will be up into the 90s. Here's the dew point trend. Very, very humid all the way through Thursday, a little less so Thursday and Friday, or I should say Friday and Saturday, and then the humidity makes a climb back up heading into Sunday and Monday. Here's a look at your next seven days. We'll start with your shoreline numbers first. We are in the 90s for Wednesday, a little bit cooler on Thursday, and then back up into the 90s even at the shore over the weekend. Here are your inland numbers. Again, we are in the 90s across the board, not breaking this hot stretch until Monday or Tuesday. Rachel Frank has an update on the potential storms online and on the air later on today.